Hi guys, it's T Lambar. Come walk with me. Today we're going to speak to an entrepreneur. Zan's mind. Yeah, you might have heard of him. You might have seen him about before. Guess what? We have him here today. Today we're going to speak to him and see what he feels and the advice he's going to bring to you. So let's see how it goes. I was broke, I didn't have not. Busy want to see me so I showed them my love. Then I step back to bring what I've done. Never seen a hustle make me so much. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Yes. This is... Zan's mind also known as Devout Zan. Come on. All right, Zan. Talk to me, man. The icebreaker today is if you were an animal, what animal would it be and why? So the animal that I would be is a lion. The reason being is because I have a heart of a lion. Elaborate on that, bro. So what I mean is I'll do whatever it takes to get to whatever goal that I want to achieve. Yeah. Only right, man. Bro, he's focused on you guys. So what is Devour and who's Zan's mind? Okay, so Devour is the company that I built. I started in April 2019 um, and currently we have like 58,000 followers. What it is, it's a content-based team which, you know, we all are a group of creators that create our own content. And what we aspire to do is to build our life from creating content. Mm -hmm. um, and we all just have the same vision and we strive to be the best, you know, support each other. Devour is another family to me as well. We just want to make it to the top, you know, and we just really love doing content creation. Well, how did you come up with the name and what does it mean to you? So what it means to me is at the end of the day it is my personal brand and I do have supporters and I'm grateful for every single supporter that watches my content, that leaves a like, that leaves a comment, even the haters, you engaging with my stuff. I'm not going to look at it and you know, take it to heart. You're helping me get up there and I appreciate it. What do you think about presentation? What do you think about drip? So in terms of presentation, it's always important how you present yourself, whether it's on social media, whether it's just wherever. Because uh, if you portray yourself as somebody that's immature, no one's going to take you serious. Especially in the business world, you know, sometimes they undervalue you. But if you do your research and you understand exactly what you're talking about, yeah. then you know that you can get the best deal uh, or the best offer. So what do you think about drip, bro? Because you come in with a bit... Some, some sore stone. <laughs> I mean, in terms of drip, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really take too, too, too much to heart when it comes to materialistic things. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if you wear something plain or you wear something branded, you know, it doesn't matter. Clothing is clothing. You know, you have to be grateful for what you have because some people are, are less fortunate and they don't have it, you know? Yeah. Come on, man. Humble words, man. Humble words, for real. What are your aims? So in terms of my aims uh, going forward, what I really want to do is I want to get a nice house. Um, and then if I get a nice house, I want to be able to have a family because what's the most important, important thing to me in life is family. Yeah. Because, you know, if you go outside and you come home, you come back home to you, come to family. If you wake up, who do you see? You see family. So family is one of the most important things to me in life. In terms of the business aspect of things, um, you know, I'm going to keep working hard. I don't really exactly have a set goal, but I know exactly what I want to do. Um, and I'm going to take my, you know, my business to the next level. And when I'm able to be consistent with my own content, I'm going to take that to the next level. I know exactly what I need to do. I'm fortunate enough to have great people around me. And I'm going to keep working hard to get to that next you know, uh, goal and achieve it. Now, man, big up to you, man. Hopefully you do. Obviously, everyone's watching you. You're inspiring others, man. So hopefully good come back to yeah. you, your company, what you're trying to bring. Honestly, for real, I rate that. How do you prioritize the aims around your lifestyle? So the aims around my lifestyle, I'm going to be completely honest. In order to succeed, you need to do a lot of sacrifices. So I have sacrificed a lot. I've sacrificed a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort. Even, you know, my social life, going out with friends. You know, I could go out and party and just have a great time, but I'd rather be locked at home, researching, studying, figuring out the next move on how I could become successful. Um, one of my biggest aims uh, for the next year is I'm going to try to become a millionaire by next year. It's a very crazy goal, but I believe if I work really hard enough, I potentially could get it. No, man, I hear that, bro. Yeah. What is your advice? 
for the viewers that are watching here today, what is your advice to give them? I know you have big goals in your future that you want. So say it's your younger self. So what advice I have for anyone, not even just the viewers, is if you have a dream, chase it. Yeah, if you have a dream that could be so big that people can, like they might not believe it, just still go for it. Because if you don't try, you'll never know if you succeed or not. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get it twisted though. Some people, you know, they chase their dream, but sometimes it's too big for them and then they can't keep going for it. But a big phrase that I live by in this world is everything happens for a reason. So if you're not successful trying to chase something, there's going to be another door that will open for you and then just chase that. At the end of the day, we're all trying to survive, we're all trying to make money, we're all just trying to live our lives, you know. But chasing your dream is a big part of my life and honestly, just go for it. Even if your friends are telling you don't, even if your family's telling you don't, even with me, that happened to me. But if I took their advice and didn't chase my dream, I wouldn't be sat here where I am now. Thank you so much, man. I hope the young Gs, all the people that are watching this gets inspired from what you brought, brought here today. And man, shout out your socials, man, because I know you want to do that. You have to, bro. Zan's mind is on social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, um, and then my company team of our YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Every single social media, you'll find it straight away. Also, thank you for watching T Dambara shows. Obviously, we'll catch you soon next time. Bye.